Hi everyone, this is Adam Virgil. In the last video, we learned how to get data from a website. And that's what the data is here, is it's coming from a website. And the images that we get are going to be pertaining to this information. So if you haven't watched my video on how to get data from a website, I suggest you do that first so that these images make sense. We have a list of players from the NBA and their game stats for the 2020-2021 season. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the right here and and maybe I'm going to go over here and I'm going to call this image. And we're going to learn three different ways to get images into Google Sheets. I'm going to go to the NBA website and I'm going to click on a player. Click on this player. Notice there's an image right here. The first way to get an image into Google Sheets is to get the image URL and add it into the cell. The way that we can get the image URL is we can right click on the image if you're on a PC and go to copy image address. Or you can open the image in a new tab and we can see the URL of the image right here. This is the image URL. So we can copy this URL Go into Google Sheets and go to Insert, Image, Image in Cell, and you'll see that we have a bunch of options here. One of the options is by URL. So we'll click on that option and paste the URL that we have in there, and here's our image. And we can go to Insert, and now we have an image in Google Sheets. The second way that we can do it is we can get the URL of the image like we have here. I'll copy it. I'm just going to paste it right here. And we can use a function in Google Sheets called image. So I'm in cell AJ3 right now. I'm going to go equals image, open parenthesis. And what image does is it looks for a URL and it gets the image of that URL. So if you have images stored on Google Drive or an image on any website that you have the URL for, you can select the URL and we'll close off the image and click enter. And we got the same thing. The difference is that if we remove this URL, this image will no longer show up because it, there is no URL here to get the image for. Now the third way to do it, which is actually not a different way to do it it's just a way to do it more automatically in some cases because in this case we have a couple of options right we can go find every image URL for all of these players that we have and copy and paste them in here or we can ins we can go to the player page and copy the image URL and insert image in cell for every single player the third option, which doesn't work all the time, but in this case it could, is we can figure out a common theme in URL strings and tease them out so that we can automatically create the URL strings for the images that we need. Sorry, uh, I was having a couple of internet issues there. Uh, so to get the URL string, you need to analyze or look at the URLs and try to find a theme. So let's open up this URL here. It looks like we have a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. And then we have blbr01.jpg. So it looks like it uses some of the player name and some numbers and uh, .jpg or jpeg. Now let's look at another player. Let's go back here and let's find another player, um, this one. And let's open the image in a new tab and see what it says. It has a bunch of stuff and then it has some letters of the player name and 01.jpg or jpeg. So they look, if you click back and forth, they look pretty consistent and this number doesn't change. If that number changed, we might have ourselves an issue, but it doesn't. So in this case, we can break this URL down into its parts using the data that we have and automatically get images for each athlete. To do that, 
let's copy the big bulk of this URL here until we get to the name and we'll copy it go into our spreadsheet and I'm just gonna paste it here so now we have one component what are the other components that we need it looks like we need the first either the whole last name because that's his whole last name let's go to this one B A Z E those are the first four letters oh b b a z e m the first five letters maybe of their last name and k e the first two letters of their first name so how can we get that information let's go back in here and let's create a column called first name and another one called last name because right now we only have one name it's a full name right here and it will, be, it will be difficult, or the formula will be more complicated if we need to get the letters, um, the first five of the last name, first two of the first name, from here. So first, let's use a function called split, which means you could split up things in a cell based on um, a piece of text or a delimiter. So we can go equals split, open parenthesis. The first thing that split needs is the text that you want to split up. For us, we want to split up this name right here, comma. Now, what do we want to split up the text by? Well, in our case, there's a first name, and then there's a space, then a last name. So let's use a quote, space, quote, to get a space. So we're splitting it by a space, and that's it. We can close the parentheses and click Enter. And now we have the athlete's first name and last name. So now if we copy this formula, and I'm just going to go to the bottom by clicking on AD2 because there's data going all the way down, holding down control and clicking the down arrow to get to the bottom of my data set, go over to AE, whatever, 513, and paste the formula in. That's just a way of me doing it across the entire data set because then I can copy this formula, hold down control, shift up arrow, and paste. So now we have the split names for all of our athletes. And what we'll notice too is some athletes' names have um, another name or the third or junior. So we need to accommodate for that as well in our in the way that we do our formulas here. So let's go extra because that's like an extra last name, if you will. And now let's add in two more columns. We'll go first five last and first two first so that we can get the first five letters of the last name and first two letters of the first name. And the last thing that we're going to need, which will go in this cell right here, is the 01.jpg or jpeg. Because this is the same for everybody, it looks like, more or less. I would imagine that players uh player names that have been used more than once might have an o2 or o3 or some different way to differentiate between players with the same name but we don't have to worry about that for right now we can get most of the images at the very least this way so for the first five letters of the last name we can use a function called left equals left open parenthesis the first thing that it needs is a string, and the second thing it needs is the number of characters that you want. So, and we're getting things from the left. So, we'll click on the last name. That's the string that we want, comma, five. So, we'll get the first five letters of the string in this cell, which is the last name. And we can close that off and click Enter. Oh, great, it's suggesting an autofill. Let's, we'll take Google Sheets up on that so that I don't have to do that control down shift copy paste thing alright now we have the left five letters of the last name and let's do the same thing but for the first name so equals left open parenthesis first name comma two because we need the first two letters of the first name and close the parenthesis and click enter and yep we'll take you up on that We'll fill all that stuff out. We could use array formulas like Google Sheets was, was saying, but it's not really the purpose of this video. So 
Now we have all the components we need, right? We have that big bulk of the URL. We have the first five, or in this case four, because he only has four letters in his last name. And the first two letters of the first name, and 01.jpg. Let's add in one more column. And let's call this image URL. All we have to do is add all this stuff together to create the URL string that we see for that image. To do that, you can go equals concatenate, which just means combine, and we just enter the things that we want to combine together. So the first thing that we want in this URL string is the beginning, this URL uh, base, comma. The second thing that we need is the first five of the last name, comma. And then we need the first two of the first name, comma. And then we need this 01.jpg. And we'll close off the parentheses and click Enter. And now, I'm not sure why it's suggesting that. Oh, it's because I don't have URLs in there. Okay, so sure, let's let them autofill that for us. Right now, it doesn't look great because we only have the base URL string right here and the 01.jpg here. But if we copy these, and let's just scroll down to the bottom, and we'll paste them in here because they don't change. There's no formula needed. We just have a base URL and 01.jpg. Now let's crop this, or not crop it, but we'll format it so that it gets clipped so that we can see the images. Now the third way to get, or the last way to get an images, it's actually the same as the second way except now we have these automated URL strings that take into consideration a bunch of different things. And just to be formal, we'll say URL base, and we'll say JPEG. Now we do that equals image function again here. So we go equals image, open parenthesis, and we want an image of this URL that we worked really hard to create. And we can close the parenthesis and click enter. And nothing's showing up. Now, why might that be? It's because things are case sensitive. So even though we have the first five of the last name and the first two of the first name, if we look in here, all the letters are lowercase. And now all we have to do is use a function called lower for in both of these columns to make sure that everything's lowercase. So if you have anything, whether it's all uppercase, you, there's a function called upper two or proper, um, to format how the text looks. Right now this is proper and what we want it to be is lower so if we go lower open parenthesis it turns whatever is in here to lowercase. So if we close off that and click enter and here let's go lower open and close the parenthesis click enter and look at that we have an image so let's copy these two formulas now, again, and go all the way to the bottom, and we'll paste them over the ones that we currently have. And what we should see uh, is we should see, hopefully, images popping up everywhere once we copy this formula that says image for this new URL, and we paste it down. And it looks like we're getting what we asked for here, where we have um, a bunch of images coming to life. It takes a little bit of time, but that's all I got for this video. Those are a couple of different ways to get images into Google Sheets using URL strings. So I hope that this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out and uh, lets YouTube know that the stuff is is pretty good for some people so yeah, I appreciate all the support I can get and thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video in the next video here in this like mini little series thing uh, we're going to use a formula to do stuff with this stock data that we got in the first video